hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Let's Build series. Um, sorry that it's going to come out a lot later than anticipated, but I've been doing even more work behind the scenes. I've been trying to set up a separate series from the one that we're currently working on. Um, and just doing a few other bits and pieces in terms of optimization on the server, but today we are finally, finally back in the swamp, uh, the new project that we started I think back in episode 8, uh, so four episodes later we're finally getting cracking in, and, and what we're doing here is just simply laying out uh, sort of the foundations for the swamp village that we're going to be uh, building today. I'm going to try and get as much of it done as I can today, no promises on how far we get, but we'll see what we can do. So firstly, uh, you can see the yellow circle in the middle. That is going to be the focal point of this village, and that is actually going to be a large, I was going to say giant, but it's going to be a large mushroom. Um, there's potentially going to be sort of an entrance to it, you know, stuff built into it, maybe some bridges coming out of it, some cool stuff like that, or it may just end up being just a mushroom as the focal point. Um, there'll be a couple of other ye yellow circles that'll pop up where there'll be some other larger mushrooms. There'll be some dotted around here, there and everywhere, but those will be the biggest ones in the village. Um, the orange wall is just representing the path, so that's going to be a continuation of the pathway we set up in the previous episode with the spruce slabs and the trapdoors. And then the green, pink and red wall are just going to be buildings. Now I've just used a few different types of wall for the buildings just so I can slightly morely, more, <laughs> morely? <laughs> slightly uh, differentiate uh, where one building starts and where the next one ends. Doesn't mean that they're going to be like for different purposes or anything like that. It's more of a visual guide for me. So in this episode what we're going to be doing is just tackling this village, getting stuck into it, getting as much work done as we can. Again, I'm not 100% sure we're going to be getting all of that done today, but we will see what we can do. Um, in terms of what I want to achieve for this village, I want to have it to be kind of really cluttered. You know, that's why all the layouts of the buildings are really on top of each other and some of them actually intersect if you look carefully. Um, so you've got like some on different axes, some on 45 degrees, some on 90 degrees, and they kind of clash into one another. And I just want it to have a kind of magical uh, and a slightly different feel, or a very different feel to the village that we did previously. Uh, but without further ado, that's the end of the time lapse, and let's get cracking with this episode. And immediately upon starting the episode, I'm going to change my mind on the direction this episode is going to take today. Um, so originally I said we're going to try and just build up as much of this as we possibly can in today's episode. But I feel like a lot of what we've done recently in episodes has just been me kind of coming in, talking for a few minutes, and then you just see a load of progress, and then I talk, and then a load of progress. And it's cool, it's cool that we're getting a lot of progress done in these episodes, but you're also not really getting to see me building uh, on camera. And I really need practice with that. I need practice on the commentary, I need practice um, on all those kind of things. And I also think it's nice to have a little bit of variation in the content that we're producing. So the first thing I'm just going to quickly go over is, yep, the orange wall has gone. I've replaced it uh, just with world edit. A simple command, I replaced all the orange wall with spruce trapdoors and spruce half slabs. And I've also put some fences around underwater here. Uh, it's difficult to find the camera angle, but you can see they're kind of smattered around all over the place. Now, in the middle, I've also replaced the yellow wall with lapis blocks. That's just because we will be doing... Oh, uh, Ah. Uh, we will be doing um, an, a mushroom here, which will be an organic shape, and using blocks that have um, texture around the outside, like a lapis block, diamond block, etc. It's just much easier to uh, see the shape you have because the textures don't blend into one another. They have a very clearly defined edge to them. It just makes it much easier to see the actual shape of what you're producing and then you convert that to the smoother texture which really rounds that out for you. Um, and I'll try and show you guys what that means in a future episode but we won't be tackling that today. So what we're going to be doing today is actually looking at this little area here and we're just going to be building them up. Um, I'm going to try my best to do this all on camera. Uh, we'll see how it kind of goes, we'll see how it flows and how that kind of develops um, but this is also the palette we're going to be using so uh, this will be the frame block here and then we're going to be using uh, as you can see here the polished granite, granite, uh, light grey terracotta and mushroom block that's going to be our gradient for the build 
Um, we put up, we'll also, now that I think about it, probably use some jungle planks in here somewhere as well as part of the gradient. So we'll probably just throw that in. And the roof block is primarily going to be the dried kelp block with some prismarine, a dark prismarine thrown into that. So we're going with kind of um, some very like neutral brown kind of colours but with that kind of pink shade thrown into it um, with the jungle and the sort of gradient we're going with. And I've also thrown in a little idea of having um, maybe some some areas of the builds are going to have the, I think this is purple terracotta and this is magenta. Uh, not going with the, the pink, I think the pink stands out a little bit too much, it's a little bit too vibrant for what, because we still want this to feel quite dark and I keep saying like ominous or spooky but I don't think that's quite the right word but we want it to have that kind of like mystical feeling and I think having a darker colour palette works a little bit better for that. Uh, we could definitely at some point maybe have like a, a lighter version of this, um, you know maybe more of a, a fairy kind of village which is kind of super bright and vibrant and maybe like a lot of verticality to it, sort of big trees and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to go with a darker vibe for this one. So what I'm doing First, I think I'm going to mark out the corners of each build. Uh, so these will be two separate buildings. We're going to have one here and one here. So I just need to bear that in mind when we come to the roof. And I think we're going to take this up, let's say, four blocks here. Okay. And we'll see how that's kind of looking for us. Uh, so up three from that first one I placed, obviously. So four blocks in total. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that's going to be decent and that should give us uh, three blocks in height to play with which should be okay for the ground floor. So let's go around the edge here and we're just going to cap off the framework. Okay and we're just going to match the foundation below to make sure that the um, it kind of all flows the way we want it to. And I want these uh, logs to be upright and the ones in between going horizontally. So Let's just quickly make sure that this all works. And how's that looking for us? If we just have a quick fly around. I think that's decent. I think that's pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is have some bits kind of stepping out, some bits kind of um, maybe at an angle. So I think for this one, we're going to take this out a couple of blocks. And then again, if we go up, maybe four blocks again. How's that going to work out for us if I draw that across there? Let's put this here. Just quickly going to throw these in as well. And let's quickly actually walk underneath it and see if that kind of works for us. Yeah, that's kind of good. I think that's, that's kind of the feel we're going for. Like as you walk through, I want it to feel kind of enclosed. And then it opens up in the middle, you're going to have this big mushroom you'll be under with kind of like lights hanging down from it. There'll probably be some lanterns, some glowstone, but then I think when 1.16 comes out, we'll go over this build again. Or when, well, obviously it's out at the time of recording, but we'll go over it once more um, with sort of soul lanterns. We'll put the blue fire around and we'll put the new mushroom blocks in and that should all be super, super cool. Um, and I think the rest of the build uh, for this level... We're just going to bring these all up one more level. Let's put those up. And again, all we're going to do is follow this same, uh, the same pattern as the foundation. Okay. And that's just going to tidy that up here. Get rid of that block. Uh, it's going to be these two across, those two across. And then we're going to have that one coming up there. So I think we'll just get rid of these because they're just unnecessary. They're not going to be visible. So let's just get rid of them for the time being. Okay, that's good. The shape is still relatively boring. So what I'm thinking we want to do is quickly just put the floors in here. So I'm thinking of using jungle planks, which I think the data value for that is 5.3. Yep. And let's put the floor blocks in here. Fantastic. Uh, and we'll just quickly manually place those bits in my hand because the top I'm thinking we're gonna have yeah actually let's while we've got this here let's get rid of these from my inventory 
and chuck the kelp blocks in my hand and let's have a look at what the roofing is going to look like, the roof situation. So let's go up to, I think we want to have these roofs generally kind of more, uh, a little bit more spiky and that should be good there. Um, you know, previously we've got a lot of A-frame roofs, roofs there, which kind of just, you know, up and down 45 degree angle. I think these ones we want to have a little bit more of an angle to. Okay, and again, I think we're going to go for something very similar on this building. Okay, and again, all we're going to be doing is we're stepping this out one block from the frame and just making sure that it follows in line with this framework here. And I think we'll just cap it off with the one there. Fantastic. Uh, and again, just in order to make sure this follows. It's been a long time since I've done a roofing like this, so it's uh and we're a little bit off here, aren't we, because of the angle that we're at. Hmm. I'm just wondering if that's gonna work for us, because we're gonna have like an angled roof. I think that could actually look super cool. Let's have a quick look to see how that actually shapes up. So it's going to be something like that. Uh, how's the angle looking? That's kind of cool actually. I'm kind of happy with how, how that's going to look. It's going to be different for sure, but I think we can work with it. So I think the last one we're going to do here is we're going to make a square uh, like a tower bit going up at the top so let's just have a quick look if we had the center of the square coming out there what if we went two blocks out from the center in each one is that going to be big enough for the tower i don't think so i think if we bring it one more out and then our tower would be here okay that should be pretty decent. We're gonna have an issue with the corner here. Is the only thing I'm not concerned about. So I guess what we could do is just take this whole selection and if we just move it by one block this way, and then we should be able to come back in here. And again, I think we'll go up four, four, initially one two three four and see this is going to be all covered in so actually i think i'm gonna just delete this for the time being and let's have a look i think we're going to want it to go higher so if we go four maybe if we go six i think that might be more what we're after here and then let's bring this back into here and that's where that would come down go across here and again that's kind of okay and then we go one two three four five six and this is where the towel will come out here okay is that the right height nope <laughs> let's bring that across I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as I can for you all and how's that gonna look Obviously it looks a bit weird at the moment, but I promise it, it will look good when it's done. Okay, that's cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I think we're just going to have the roof coming out here. Okay, so this is kind of the general approach I take um, to building. Is I will kind of block it out, frame, do the framework. You know, I've obviously shown you before with uh, where I used wool. In this instance, I'm just going straight in with the materials I want because I've actually already worked out the color palette. And then I'm just kind of gradually working out, okay, if, if this goes here, where does the framework stick out from this section of roof? Or if I wanted to bring a little balcony out, where would that intersect? Is it, where's it gonna look good, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly do a few tidy up bits off camera and then I'll come back with you, just explain the few bits that I've done and then we'll just talk through a few little bits to round off the episode. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. And like magic, we are back, guys. Um, so not really much has happened. Um, all I've done 
is I've gone back through, tidied a few things up, added some support under the roofs, um, and I've filled in the walls with the gradient that we determined um, towards the uh, well towards the beginning of the episode. I suppose I determined it off camera already, uh, but it is a, a gradient that we predetermined we were going to make use of. So here I just went with the simple kind of pinky kind of red colours. I haven't put the uh, magenta into this one at all. Um, I'm thinking that I want quite a few of the builds are going to be purely these kind of more muted, more neutral tones. And then there's going to be some builds like next to them that will be quite a little bit more vibrant, just bringing in that little pop of colour. Um, so this is what I'm going for mostly. And looking at this, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I think that this towel was maybe a bit thicker than I was originally intending, but that's okay. Um, what I'm eventually going to be doing once these are built up is I'm going to want to put like bridges between them all, little walkways, and that's going to really add to this kind of cluttered, um, kind of enchanted grove sort of feel we're going for. But I'm not going to add that in for the time being. I think we're going to go, want to go super minimal on the detail for the time being. The only thing I probably want to do is determine, you know, where are we getting into this place? Um, you know, where's the actual entrance to this house? Or these these two buildings um, and also where are the windows going to be where are we going to get light in so for this one I actually think it would be super cool to have the entrance uh, kind of back here uh, let's quickly pop this here um, let's go back to this kind of area I think we actually want to get we're going <laughs> we're going to want to use slabs I think because I actually wanted the entrance to be further back here so I think going up there is, is going to be more the feel that we're going for and let's make this a two wide here uh, and I think what we're going to do just to make this easy on ourselves is actually just bring a wall all the way around it for the time being and we can like I said like we'll go easy on the detail and then we will apply more detail when we're kind of a little bit further along in the building process uh, so for now let's go like so and just fill this in really quickly I guess I might as well just do this while I've got you guys with me um, so let's have a look we're walking in here and there's an entrance up here and then this would be sort of the doorway in here uh, as you can see this is the dividing wall uh, it's all gonna be pretty tight or whatever uh, this probably won't be mossy cobble but that gives you an idea. Um, again, like we're not really going to do interiors for now. Maybe it's something we do in future, so maybe it's something we need to be at least a little bit mindful of. This should be enough space to work with at the very least. So I think if we're going to have an entrance here, we might as well knock out a window here. I think this is a perfect area to have a larger window. Um, and I'd be tempted to say we'll actually do it uh, full on. And I'm actually going to grab some grass blocks. The reason being is I think we could also determine where our flower boxes are going to go. So there could be a flower box there. I don't think we need a window here. Um, this won't really need a window because if we think about it, it's going to be a building coming up here. It's, it's going to be at least this tall. So this isn't really going to get any light. So I think having this as a wall is absolutely fine. I'm almost thinking the entrance for this building because of the how tight these walkways are going to be. A lot of these entrances are going to have to be on this sort of ground floor. So I think we knock out and say that this is the entrance for the time being. I think that will be fine. Uh, we won't have any windows on here, but we're definitely going to need some light coming in on this level. Again, we're going to do a three tool. Um, as for flower boxes, I don't think I'm going to have one there. Uh, so on this front level, I think we would definitely want some uh, flower boxes here and possibly one here so if we have a one wide window here and a two wide here that's good I definitely want it to be very kind of uneven mismatched almost uh, and here we just do again a nice two wide window I think that will be perfect for us okay and on this level I think we just knock out one here and we're not gonna have one there and again I think a flower box will be nice I think lots of flower boxes is kind of the order of the day on this build in particular so this tower, for now, I'm actually not going to touch. Like I said, we're going to have walkways and whatnot. I'm not sure how many of the buildings are actually going to go this high because this is going to probably peak out uh, potentially above the canopy of the mushroom, which I think is the next thing we should tackle because 
I think this build is going to cut into the mushroom. And that's fine, maybe we could have a hole in the mushroom. Um, but I kind of didn't think that through, so it might end up being that we actually need to get rid of this towel uh, and maybe just bring it in one on all sides. So I'm not going to chuck anything in there for the time being. But that gives us a really good idea of the, the feel we're going for. I know right now it looks super noisy, it looks messy, it looks pretty ugly, right? <laughs> Especially with the uh, this really super strange shape we've gone for and we've not put any detail into it. But I do guarantee we can make this look super cool. I've, I've already done a couple of builds uh, with this block palette. It just requires a lot of detail work and that's just something that I'm not going to have time for right now. Uh, the idea initially I was going to like build up all these builds similar to this but with just kind of framework and, and fill in non-gradient but just maybe fill it all with the terracotta or the granite or something and at least give us an idea for this village. But I'm glad we started here because we've immediately realised uh, we've messed up because this, this uh, mushroom we're going to struggle to fit it in. Um, but yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think initially? I mean, this is the general feel we're going for. Um, I th like I said, I think the buildings are in general going to be significantly smaller than this one. Uh, but there might be one or two more that kind of come up to this height. But yeah, thanks so much for watching if you've made it this far. I'm sorry it's a super wonky episode and I know that my building on camera is awkward at best, but hopefully we're getting there and getting a little bit better at talking through the building process. I think it's super hard to articulate what you're trying to do as, as you're going, so I do apologize if it doesn't make sense or if it sounds like I'm just repeating myself. I am trying to improve, um, and if you guys have any sort of thoughts or tips on how you think I could improve going forward, I'd be more than happy to take any feedback on board, so please just leave a comment down below. Um, and if I take on some of your feedback, I'm more than happy to just pop that in the next episode. I'll give you a shout out. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.